Hey everybody, this is a quick video in case you have a Pioneer DDJ Wego K controller and you need to do a hard reset to the factory default settings on it. Now there's kind of two reasons you're going to want to do this. Uh, the first one is troubleshooting. If you're having any issues with this uh, controller not listening to your presets or you know not, just not following the configurations or it doesn't seem to be responding, it's just not working the way it's supposed to be working, a hard reset can fix a lot of those issues. Um, the second reason you might want to do this is if you're just trying to set this up as a new device, you just want it to be back the way it was when it came out of the box. Um, we can do that uh, really easily. Uh, so you're going to need to set it up again because everything will be deleted off of it. But um, basically all you're going to do is with it turned off, you're going to come on and on the left side or the A or the C deck side, we're going to hold the sampler and um, the hot Q1 buttons simultaneously. And while holding them simultaneously, we're going to go ahead then and turn the unit on. And then when we turn it on, um, the, all the sync LEDs will, will light up just for a second while it's resetting. And once they go off, which will only take like a second or two, um, then it will all be reset to the factory default settings.